uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you a new tool that I deployed on my website which allows you to download the YouTube video thumbnails so YouTube video thumbnails guys it's a very common practice you need to have thumbnails downloaded of any video let's suppose I go to YouTube and basically I copy link address it's a very simple tool you need to go to this tool the link is given in the description you can check out the live demo and uh, paste the link of your favorite video click on generate thumbnail basically it will generate the thumbnails for each and every quality guys high quality uh, standard quality high definition medium quality low quality and for each quality we have a download button if you click that button the image will open right here you can right click that and save this image on your computer so once the image is saved you can basically see your thumbnail you can see that so now you can see that guys the thumbnail is saved it's a very simple process and uh, the link is given you can try out for any video you can pick any video for example this video copy link address just paste the link here and now you can see that so all the quality thumbnails will be generated and each quality will have a download button associated with it and uh, you can see that so a very good application so you can definitely try out so I will be showing you how to build this application from scratch so we will be using node.js express basically it's a client side application you will majority write index uh, javascript code for generating it so let's start it so all the source code guys is given you can purchase the full source code from stripe and paypal in indian rupees or united states dollar after purchasing it you will basically get this directory structure and uh, in the server side code not a lot of code is there uh, just require basic express module and make express app and just make a public directory and make it a static directory and listen on 5000 this is the four lines of code which is there in index.js file and majority of the code we will write it in the index.html file and as you can see we have included the cdn for bootstrap let me just delete this one and also this code as well so we will write this code from scratch so the very first thing guys we will write here is uh, to make the interface of the application so for making the interface it's very simple we will have a container class for bootstrap and also margin top 5 and inside this we will give it a text center class of bootstrap and inside this we will say that youtube thumbnail downloader after that guys we will have a simple form group class and inside this we will have uh, saying that enter vi youtube video url we will be allowing the user to enter the url of your favorite youtube video and then we will have input field input type text and we will be giving a class of form control it's a bootstrap class and we will be giving an id to it of video url and it is required and placeholder will be enter youtube video url so if you now look at the interface guys if i refresh the application localhost 5000 so now you can see it's the interface that is built right here and uh, after that we will basically have a button and uh, that button will have a class of btn btn primary margin 2 and uh, we will have uh, download thumbnails or we can say that generate thumbnails and we can also give it an on click event handler so whenever we click that button guys this function will execute generate thumbnails so you can now see basically we now have a button right here and just after this button guys we will basically have a div section 
where we will show all the thumbnails in various quality. So just give it an ID of thumbnails and class is margin top four. So this time it will be empty right here. So here we will write our JavaScript code guys. So just make script tag. And basically we will get the references. We will write this function first of all. Generate thumbnails. So here we will get all the references of all the HTML documents, sorry, HTML elements. So here for this, we will use document get element by ID. And uh, here, first of all, we will say that uh, if the user hasn't entered the YouTube video URL, we will say and please enter the video URL and then we will return. We will not execute the rest of the code and then we will use pry catch block guys and inside this try catch block we will basically write the code and we will basically extract the video id from the url of the video by using video url dot match it's a regular expression that we are using guys So just paste it. So here we are just checking that if the URL is correct or not. If the URL is in, incorrect, then in that, in that case, we will say invalid YouTube video. So now let's suppose if I enter invalid, you will see invalid YouTube video URL. So validation is also done right here. And after that, we will basically extract the video ID by this function video ID match one like this so we can alert this uh, video id so if you now submit a correct video url so now you can see this video id has been extracted as you can see so this is actual video id which is present right here so we are now extracting this one this portion of the video id so with the help of this video id guys we will try to get the quality of thumbnails in various qualities so after getting video id it becomes very much easy we get the thumbnail url in various quality so we can make back tick symbol here image.youtube.com slash vi slash followed by the video id So this will give you the video ID guys. So basically the formula for getting the thumbnails guys it's very easy. Uh, we have this uh, URL which you can open image.youtube.com slash vi followed by the video ID of any URL. Let's suppose you are taking this any URL. Let's suppose this one. We paste the video id right here after this we get you can see that we get various qualities so here we need to pass the quality slash if you pass the max result max result default you get the maximum quality of the thumbnail i think you need to add dot jpg here so you, you can see that guys basically this is the thumbnail which is made here image.com image.youtube.com vi and this is the dynamic video id we are placing right here programmatically and then we have various constant this is for maximum resolution and also we have standard resolution which is hd default then we have hq mq default so based upon that we get the urls so in this application also we are using the same logic after we get the thumbnail url we will define all the qualities in this array so first quality will be max resolution default the next quality will be hd default next quality will be high hq default 
next quality will be mq default and this last one will be default and basically here we will run a for each loop guys for each quality we will create a thumbnail element and we will display it on the screen and for basically creating an element we will use a method called as create element and we will create a div and inside this thumbnail element we will manipulate the inner html and we will say h4 we will embed the dynamic quality of the thumbnail we will close h4 tab and after that we will also have just place it multiple lines you can also write multiple lines of html code using this backtick symbol and here we will basically put dynamic thumbnail url followed by the quality as well and just add a dot jpg and just give it a bootstrap class of image thumbnail and close the image tag and we will also be adding a download button as well to each of the image so we will give it a bootstrap class of btn btn success margin 2 so once you basically click this button we will also be having a on click event handler let me just f first of all add this on the screen so that you can see right here what we are doing right here so just inside this loop we will say thumbnails container and we will use append child to add this on the screen so we will say thumbnail element so if you refresh your browser submit your youtube thumbnail so you will now see each of the quality of the thumbnail is showing here and also side by side a download button is also showing and uh, you can now see basically that image is is not showing let me see i you can see that we are missing a slash symbol here so now to fix this it's very easy you need to put a slash sim slash here after the thumbnail url So inside image URL So let me paste this code here. Okay. So if you just refresh your browser, uh, again give a YouTube URL, click generate thumbnails. I think I am missing something here. Let me copy this and paste it. So now you can see that the thumbnails are showing here. Each quality is showing. It's a high quality thumbnail, then it is standard quality, then it's high HQ, then MQ, and the default quality. So right side by side this download button. So if you click this download button, nothing will happen. So we now need to define that method. So once we click that button, 
so this download thumbnail will execute so this function will take two arguments first is the url and the file name so we will redirect the user to this url for that we will use the fetch library which is a built-in module in the browser we will redirect the user to this url and then it returns a promise and we will get the response here we will convert this response to blob by invoking the blob function and again this will in turn return a promise once again and here we will use save as and we will pass the file name that is passed right here so if you just refresh now So for this you need to include I think file server JS library. So just include this library and uh, refresh the browser. So if you click download here. There is also a second way for doing that. You can just uh, say window location dot href. We can redirect the user to this URL. That's all. So you can see that it is redirecting it. It is doing the same thing, but uh, it only includes one line of code. You just need to write here window.location.href and just pass URL. So now you can take any video and uh, generate the thumbnail automatically using this tool. So all the source code is given guys you can purchase the full source code and before purchasing it you can try out the live demo which is deployed on my website. So just search YouTube video thumbnail downloader and uh, try out the demo first of all so thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video